Hello folks, welcome to what will be episode 34 of New Zealand to the World. But first, we have some interesting developments. Let's have a look and see what happens, shall we? as you can see in front of you Wellington Phoenix have offered me a job interview this I got this last one I was doing all that recording this came up and I just had to pause it so this is where we're gonna start today we're gonna take this interview together and then we'll see what happens from there shall we you never know I'm still shocked uh, that I even got linked with the job now they're offering me an interview so whew, let's go so obviously we'll get the same old questions but let's see how we go anyway shall we the board are pleased that you've taken the time yep let's just get it down to business so eh? all right for so rob morrison wellington phoenix chairman can you handle managing a team so close to your heart oh might the emotional attachment of being a fan be too much well that's kind of what i'm doing now anyway bro um You know, I'm professional enough to avoid letting my heart rule my head. I have so much passion and admiration for this club. I can bring all of that and more to the table. I want to be judged on merit. Don't give me the job because of my personal connections. You know what? I'm professional enough. Let's do that. I have some reservations regarding the fact that you have never managed this country. Okay yeah technically i have because i've managed in new zealand but the wellington phoenix in um fm land uh they are actually listed as an australian club that's the only way football manager can get away with having them um i guess appearing in the a-league in real reality they are a new zealand based club they are registered in the a-league but as a um, exception we have a few of um teams like that with the Auckland Warriors um for the rugby league and the breakers for basketball this anyway um, well yeah uh, okay I've never managed in Australia that's fine I'm sta my standing in the game should be more important than your decision making process and whether I've managed in this country or not I've always been keen to manage this country but until now I've had never had the opportunity yeah you have so far only managed one team throughout your entire career. Is that a good or bad thing? Uh, it's a bloody good thing. I've shown tremendous loyalty during my career and would consider that amongst the most positive traits to have as a manager. Yeah. It would be quite a change for you if you were to leave your current job to come here. Are you confident of handing such a big job? Well, that's huge. The original plan was to go to like the New Zealand Premiership and then you guys shh I won't tell anybody. I think my body of work proves I deserve an opportunity to step and manage such a big team. Yeah. Yeah. The club will be looking for a candidate capable of performing at uh, expected levels. Cost multiple competitions will be fair, Murray. It's only really one competition. Are you confident of handling that? better than our previous manager i've got a good record when it comes to meeting expectations set by my previous club we parted with our last manager much sooner than anybody would have expected or anticipated can you offer insurance that we won't be in for a repeat of this i've never once in my career departed after only a brief spell at the club that speaks volumes it's my intention to commit to a long and successful career with the club. Nah, two or three years <laughs> of success. 
Uh, the club is looking to hire a manager comfortable working with limited resources. Ah, uh, yeah, I know I can do that. <sighs> I'm happy to take charge immediately. Oh, what's this? I would like to know when you intend to establish yourself as a club manager. Are you able to take charge now, or do you want more time to join the club? I prefer to join the club at the end of the season. I need time to build my own team, and it's easy to do that with no pressure in the pre-season campaign. Because we're currently in May, so your three seasons actually over. My season's almost over. See what happens there. We understand the importance of having a right backroom team. Okay. Um, I like to take charge. When I take charge of club, I like to go through the the staff it's one of the things i really take time with identify who will stay and what we need and then just get rid of some deadwood so i'm gonna a fair amount of changes yep okay are you are there any expects okay so they don't like to deliver players well that's going to have to change over time yep youngsters is there any other job aspects we currently have no expectations that we expect of you to fill. Expectations and budgets will be set down next season if you are hired. Understand, let's move on and cover any other areas to be discussed. Okay. Are there any requests that you would like us to consider should we decide to hire you? Hmm. Now, they have this affiliation thing here, which we don't really apply. Um, a lot of the A-League teams have a, a technically a B team. Um... The Wellington Phoenix have the Wellington Phoenix Reserves that play in the um, New Zealand Football Championship. So we're not going to worry about too much in terms of that right now. Share training facilities? No. Uh, affiliation? No. Parent club? No. I'm going to say I have no request to propose. Okay, that's the interview. All right, folks, so that's the job interview. Let's have this look next. Pakira set to take over the big news idol. Bookmakers have listed me as one of the favorites. Uh, some places offering odds as short as two to one. With odds of five, two, two to five now available, however, Pakira is now the even stronger favorite. Spokesman for the Phoenix shed some light on the subject, refusing to comment. Nah. But, you see, oh, she, holy hell, this is so massive, if I get this, it'll be a huge leap forward. Um, the ideal plan, I think I've mentioned this so many times over this series, is go from North Shore United to probably a New Zealand football championship team, spend a few years there, and then to the Phoenix, ideally the Phoenix, or the A-League, and then going from there around the other parts of the world. Um... So we'll have some decisions to make. Well, folks, it looks like uh, things are taking a more, for, more forward momentum shift, if that makes sense. Phoenix have got back to me. Proposed staff room changes. You're able to request the hiring of members of your backroom staff. So following your recent interview with Phoenix, I invite you to suggest any changes you would like to make at Phoenix's backroom staff. You will be able to request the hiring of members of your backroom staff at North Shore United, whilst enjoying the freedom to alter the contracts or dispense with the services of any staff currently under contract to Phoenix. Staff at both clubs have already provided information on the roles and duties they are prepared to carry out, and upon your acceptance of the job, we will be transitioning immediately. <laughs> it looks like it's okay. Holy hell, what a development. Woo! Let's get this and done, shall we? Well, you, you come along for the journey. Right. <laughs> North Shore United. Okay. Uh huh. Doesn't. Tom! Tommy, mate! No! <laughs> oh. I recommend you to take my job then, Tom. It's just... Yeah. Okay. Anyway. McWade doesn't want to join the Phoenix. <sighs> okay.
choose my own assistant manager confirm all right so i made those changes guys we'll see what happens it looks certain to me that i'll get the job i'm hoping they'll allow me to finish the season with north shore united uh the, at least the premiership i'm not too fussed about chatham cup we'll see you for any more updates okay folks it's happened wellington phoenix have offered me a one-year contract 3.7k per week to take on the job at the westpac stadium we're going to make some changes here i'm going to say give me three and a half thousand per week i want an extra year out of you i'm not going to take a year i want two years 17th of may so that'll be the day after my last game of the season let's see what they say to that shall we so close nope i want that two-year deal we're happy to agree to you. <laughs> let's finalize this deal shall we then three and a half k per week for two years manager of the wellington phoenix commencing the 17th of may so that's the day after the next game <sighs> done wellington phoenix have offered it and i have accepted Pakira, you are the new Wellington Phoenix manager. I'm going to skip it over a day with you guys, and we'll just see what happens, though, because I've it's been a long, long time since I've done this. I want to know how it works in terms of the club. So the Phoenix board would like to accept the offer. They have every faith in your ability and believe you can success the club. Look forward to your arrival on Monday, 17th of May, 2021. Yes. All right, guys, we're going to leave it here. You can see it there on your screen. I am going to take over Wellington Phoenix on the day after the last game of the season. Join me for Forest Hill Milford, where I could end North Shore United career as two-time Premier Division champions. All right, folks, I hope you like this little bit of here. Look, that is a small episode, but... The way it's worked out, it's all bang, 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 coming together. So next time you see me, we will be Forest Hill Milford as the last game of the season, the last game from North Shore United to clinch the championship. We are still one point ahead of Eastern Suburbs B. I'm Pakira. We'll catch you later, guys. See ya.